right, welcome back to another G.I. Joe first appearance spotlight here on ComicBookInvest.com where we just go off of Ben's master list and kind of spotlight a few fun little characters you know, from the old nostalgia days when you used to collect G.I. Joes. Uh, I love doing this stuff because it brings back a lot of memories personally. I don't know. I don't know if it does it for you guys. Hopefully it does, but I love going through these characters because, yeah, a lot of memories coming back. But Same. hopefully you're enjoying this and you're enjoying the content that we're giving you. So please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. And uh, yeah, just hang on for a minute. And Ben and I got a couple of books that have a few first appearances that uh, you might be interested in for G.I. Joe. All right, so our first book actually has a bit of interest these days because I hear one of these characters is getting like a spotlight show of her own. So people might be interested in this uh, G.I. Joe number 32. And it's not because of Blowtorch. <laughs> I do uh, like Blowtorch, though. Blowtorch does make uh, his first appearance here, though. Um, and who didn't love this this figure as a kid, right? He was different. He had a lot of tubes and like accessories. Look at that. He's got a whole box full of pack at the top. He got a lot of extra stuff. It was fun. Um, great Bright book. Britain. Book wasn't really, you know, wasn't really a, a popular one with the collectors outside the folks that just were trying to make runs. Mm -hmm. They made that announcement. Lady J is going to be in the movie. Uh, I always loved her weapon, man. Like, so practical, so savage. Yeah, definitely different. I, I, there's so many things I want to say here. So I'm just going to say <laughs> Lady J on the cartoon, man, that was my jam. That, sh that, that picture just makes me happy. Like, yeah. that reminds me of just fun stuff. And then seeing the toy, again, good memories, man. Yeah. That, that's I, I said it before when I actually shared that I got the new G.I. Joe classified figure for this Lady J. They missed an opportunity because you can see here, the classic figure, she's got the ball cap. She's got the baseball hat like I've got rocking right here. But no, that's not the head they put on the classified figure. They put the, you know, the mom hairdo kind of cut, which it's okay. But they really should have put the ball cap head, which they give you in the box. But that's not the one on the figure. It's just an opportunity missed is all. I have it around here somewhere. I just got to have to dig it out. But opportunity missed for the new uh, G.I. Joe Classified series on Lady J. That's all I'm saying. Just saying. Just and then saying. we also, we get we get Ripcord in here, right? Yeah. He's he's a guy. He's <laughs> jumping in there, Peter. He's, he's, <laughs> crutched. he's crutched up with his parachute. You did get a parachute. That's, that's always fun. And he had the camo outfit. He, yeah, he, he's Ripcord. <laughs> it's an important part of the Joe team, long runner, book strong. Um, I don't know. I like it. I like all three first appearances. Yeah. Plus, you get a, you get a, you get a Zartan cover out of it, which is always always nice. Yes, you do yeah. with real weapons. Yeah. Like a sawed off chainsaw. Exactly. Or the dude. Look at the other dude with like the big like bayonet axe blade or whatever the heck he's got yeah. going on there. He's like, like this was an M sixteen. Now it's a knife. <laughs> and I'm coming at you on a, on a motorcycle. Absolutely. Gotta love G.I. Joe. Gotta love it. Yeah, and then we go later in the run with 114. G.I. Joe, real American hero, 114. And we get a couple of more. We get Metalhead and Salvo, which will go, who? And who? I didn't remember their names. When Ben gave me the slide, I was like, Ooh, who are these guys? But as soon as I saw the pictures, I remembered exactly who Metalhead was. I was like, I remember this dude. This dude was cool. He had, like, missiles on his legs. Come on. You can't go wrong. You got missiles all over you. He just covered in missiles, son. He just covered in rockets and missiles. Accessories. <laughs> Accessories were gold for these figures when you were a kid because you can move them and put them to the figure you like best. You didn't have to put it on the guy with the big yellow goggles if you didn't like the guy with the big yellow goggles. You could put that kind of stuff on the other guys you liked. Oh man! So metal, metalhead, or I guess I picked up foreign, foreign copy of this Visur. Visur, Visur. 
he was kind of cool. And then Salvo was the other guy in this uh, this issue, and he's like straight up like Arnold in Commando with that rocket launcher thrown on his shoulder. Like this was just just mm. craziness. I think he was one of Sar- Sergeant Slaughter's guys or something like that from one of the, the stuff that I saw. Like, man, just just fun stuff. The memories just come flooding back. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot about this guy because you know Salvo was probably nobody's favorite figure, but. <laughs> You know, it's what you had, and you go, oh, yeah, I remember this guy. Salvo. Uh, the rocket launcher, man. The rocket Tons launcher guy with a lot of beige and browns. Exactly. But that's, that's the a point. Fun it's, book. Really it's another fun book, and it's a later one. It's from the early 90s when the run was getting, uh, I mean, it still had some gas in it. You still had another 50 issues to go, I guess, but. Yeah, but still. Know. Anything basically post 100 is still like a good grab, mostly if you can find it in those cheap boxes, because it's it's just not easy to find. Like really, I mean, this is still before they get into the weird. Hey, we'll do Transformers crossover. Or, hey, we'll do a whole Ninja Force thing. Like this is still when they were just kind of st- sticking to regular Joe stories. But still, anything post 100, I I still grab any time I find it. They're fun, especially in like you said in those um. Discount bins, the dollar bins. Oh, yeah. When you're out there, dollar bin digging, looking for the latest Rena. <laughs> get the book. Um, but yeah, like you said, fun. Couple appearances, early '90s stuff. Um, what's not to like, man? You know, nothing. It's great nothing. stuff. So, what else is great stuff is the complete list. Check it out, Absolutely. comicbookinvest.com. You don't see something that should be on there? Let us know. Did you like this video? Hit the like button. Sub up the channel. You didn't like it? Hit the thumbs down button. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, what are we doing we that you want to that. see? What are we not doing? Right? Yeah, you'd rather us cover Ninja Turtles instead of G.I. Joe? Then tell us. We'll do Ninja Turtles, I guess. Or we get all Star sorts of stuff lined up. There's tons of stuff we could do. We will have fun. But exactly. until next time. We appreciate you guys. Sub up. Hit the like button. We'll see you next time. All right. Take it easy.